It's me. It's me. It's Driver 53. Thanks, sir. Yeah, I'll come back and pick those up in a little bit. Welcome, everybody, to a map tour for consoles of West Newton Farm. That's right. This map just released today, December 4th of 2020. It originally released for PC and Mac, I believe in like the middle of September of 2020. And it's available now for all consoles or for all platforms. That is absolutely awesome. So this right here is your store where you start out at. Now let me show you here on the map. We're down in here, a little bit of an area. Um, there are a couple things that you already have access to. So wood supplies, not access to, but sell points down here. So wood supplies, this is where you're gonna drop off here. And you're gonna open the gate here. Hold on, is it that one? Nope, it's this, it's around over here. I'm sorry, y'all. This gate. And this is gonna be this cell point here. All right, now if we look at the map, this is where we at. So it says shop and sawmill. So the shop is gonna take all your normal grains all the way across. You're gonna be able to sell eggs here. You're gonna be able to sell milk here. Um, and then the sawmill is obviously just wood. So let's run back over there and see if we can see a way to drop off. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to hop here. So this is your wood chips. Looks like. Probably everything now that I think about it. Yeah, that's going to be every It's showing there. But it looks like it's back here. Let's uh, jump here. And let's select this one really quick and just see where it pops up at. So it says it's there, but then you've got that there. I don't have any loaded up right now, but try either one. Um, yeah, so it looks awesome. So let me uh, give you a little bit of description here of this map. So it says, uh, welcome to West Newton Farm. This is a map based in Ayrshire, Scotland. Awesome. Um, this map is a real life area in Ayrshire, Ayrshire, Ayrshire. Scotland, which has been adapted to suit FS19. The map includes all farming simulator 19 features, custom made models based off the real area, full season support with grazing, custom lighting with thicker clouds and bluer sky, animated objects, custom grass texture, custom traffic, custom distance texture, four farms. You have two grain cell points, the biogas plant, the dairy, sawmill, and egg cell points. There are over 110 fields, all of varied sizes. You have custom transport missions, field contracts on most fields, real DEM based in Ayrshire, snow missions, manure system compatible for all you PC and Mac people, players, sorry, and custom tree textures. Awesome. And then it looks like they've uh, fixed some triggers and terrain edits. Now, there is a couple things that I've seen as I've gone around a little bit that we might be getting another update. I don't know. It's not a super big thing. It's just a little bit of something. Um, we'll get that as we go around. So we're going to go ahead and start off here. This is one of your uh, pieces of equipment that you start with. Um, this is your um, pickup. Now, which side of the road am I supposed to be on? Okay, this side. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going down here to a fuel point. And there are a couple um, fields down here also. Um, and there's just so much stuff kind of dotted around the map. It's really, really cool. But I like this little gas station just to start off with right here. Petrol. Wait, that's not a... Is that per liter? Man, I don't, I don't think that's a great price, y'all. Check this out little toy tractor right here some little kids gonna be missing that in a little bit not cool not cool so yeah this is our um, fuel point right there one of them there are many many of them dotted around this map now the next place I'm gonna go is we're gonna turn right or left just before the uh, shop and we're going to go up to a pig pasture. Now, we do not own this one, but 
we, uh, you can buy it pretty, pretty easily, I do believe. And the one thing about the roads here, um, they're pretty bumpy. <laughs> I'll be honest, um, especially driving this vehicle. They were pretty, uh, pretty rough getting down here. Um, I did try and reset the vehicle from where it starts at. It is up at your main farm. And when I did that, it didn't go to the shop. It, uh, I'll show you where it jumped to. But it was not the shop. So I don't believe that your equipment, when you reset it, is going to go to the shop at all. So we're going to go ahead and turn this up, hop out here. So what we have here is Black Thorn Farm. This is where all of your pigs are going to be. Now, as you can see, we have a water tank already on site. And I believe this is fuel. Yep, that's your fuel tank. Now, we got a little bit of storage here. We do. You've also got a camper, really nice camper that you can uh, probably call home. Um, this is where you're going to be buying your pigs at, right here. All right, so this farm, you can have 500 pigs. Now, I don't know where all they're going to go. It's not a very big area, but you can have 500. Um, so yeah, just run, run with that. You got your uh, food and your water right there. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of is straw. But you got slurry there. You've got manure here. So straw is the question. Almost going to bet it's right here also. So, just play around with that a little bit. Um, you've got this silo doesn't do anything. You got a little bit more storage here. Got another little farmhouse. You do have a workshop that you can bring some. So if you wanted to start off your farm right here, um, you're good to go. You got a workshop. Now, I will tell you, you do not start with a farmhouse at all. And the only farmhouse that you can get here, here, let me show you this is the the base game um so what i recommend is grabbing one of the sleep triggers any of them that you like and plopping that down somewhere on the map and you're good to go so um also with sheds there's nothing custom unique anything that you can add you know that they've put as placeable so everything is already built into the map and as you can sleep see the slot count on new farmer is 651 slots about halfway i mean almost exactly halfway not bad not bad now if you go to farm manager or start from scratch it's exactly the same exactly the same so we'll get in there and we'll show you all those other items in a little bit but that is your pig area now what we're going to do is we are actually going to go right back where we came from at the shop and we're going to go drive down main street and the reason we're driving down Main Street is because I want to take you guys over to the other side of the map. Now, this is the bottom left-hand corner of your map. Okay, that fuel station that we went to is almost all the way outside the map, uh, or to the edge of the map on the bottom left corner. So, what we're going to do now is drive over to the bottom right-hand side. And you're going to see a couple more sub points and stuff like that. And once we get up to the main farm, I'll show you a little bit more of pricing and stuff like that on the fields. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see this nice little main street right here, as long as I can drive and not hit stuff. So the pedestrian's really cool. I haven't seen any of them crossing the road, like trying to get hit or anything yet. So that's good news. Um, but yeah, just a nice little downtown, we'll call it like the main drag, the strip. Oh, there's one guy trying to cross right there. I guess be careful. There's your ATM for your money. Good, good. No sell points along there. Now, as we come out here, we're going to go ahead and pass this. Maybe. Pass this cement truck here. Alright, so we're going to keep coming along here. We're going to go right. Oh, here we go. All right, so right here, we're down at the bottom left, bottom right-hand corner of the map now. Now, we're going to have two points of sale right here. So let's bring up our map again, and I'll show you guys what these are. So this is your dairy and your Ayrshire Finest's 
grain. All right, so Ayrshire finest grain is going to take all your normal crops too. It's going to take sugarcane. Now, it is not going to take milk or eggs, but your dairy is going to take your eggs. So, that's good. So, if we come in here a little bit farther, you're going to see that this is cell point number one right here. That's all your grain and everything. And this is going to be your milk right here. So, there's that. Awesome. So, we're going to wait here. And now, just really quick, I totally forgot this, y'all. This map is by NM Modding. And it's 426.81 mega. I don't think that's right. Sorry, I'm getting my information off of um, Mod Hub. And I don't think it was that big. I want to say it was only like 380 in the Mod Hub. Um, let me go in and check it. And I will put that down here at the bottom, uh, what it actually is. So, sorry about that. For some reason, I'm seeing a little bit of a discrepancy on the two. Now, what we have here is just a cool little, um, I don't know, like a, we call them like the promo days sometimes around here. And you get it just like, they've shown off all the equipment. Got some nice cloths, got some nice crompie, got some cows over here they're going to be doing probably something with. Man, really, really cool stuff. Is that Amazon. Cool. Limkin. Fent. I'll say it, John Deere. For those of you that follow my other stuff, I typically don't uh, talk about John Deere that much. But, they're all here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, so much role play. I mean, that would be so cool. So what we're doing now is we're driving up to the biogas plant. Now, this, uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, I don't really check out the maps in great detail before I start playing, um, before I go on the tour, because I want to be kind of surprised and like have that level of excitement with you guys. So this is the biogas plant. And I love this, this feel right here. Sorry, y'all. Some of these, it's it's so high, you have to have, like, crazy um, pieces of equipment to be able to put into your... <gasps> look at that! Oh, that is gnarly. I have not seen one look like this in a modding. Great job. So, not sure of the capacity, but it looks like it's a pretty decent one. And then your digest date is over there. Perfect. And it looks like you have two bunker silos. Let's double check here really quick. Yep, there we go. So two bunker silos. Perfect. Now, I will show you on the map right here. You do not start with the biogas plant. You're going to have to buy it. And it's only 97500 So not horrible. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep up going up the road to Woodhead Cottage and check out a sheep pasture. It's just right up that road, just right there pretty awesome so now we're going if you're looking at a map and you know you're holding the map normal you would think that up would be north that's the way we're gonna be traveling now is north so lots and lots of grass you guys can see there is so much grass in these areas um, I think if you're wanting to play seasons and you've got some sheep um, there are three pastures already on here but you could like set up some open pastures and things like that um, no problem now this right over here is gonna be this cottage all right so the cottage is going to take eggs and that's it so if you want to sell eggs you can sell them here you can sell them back at the shop where we were and there's one other place so and I think I mean you're gonna be able to get a lot of chickens I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. So, now we're going to pull in right here. Let me hop out and I'll show you guys the name of this farm. Whoa. So, this is uh, Birchhead Farm. So, this is where you're going to get... Um, is it sheep? I want to say sheep. Yeah, sheep. 
Alright, so they're going to be right over here. Yes, yeah, so right here is your sheep. So, we are close to field 98. So this sheep pen holds 500. 500 sheep, y'all. So, that's your water, obviously. Got some uh, food, I believe, is going to be... Yep, right in here. So this is going to be where your wool spawns at. So perfect. Um, lots of gates to get around to other parts. You know, if you want to, however you want to do that. You got fuel, you got water already here on site. That's great. Um, you do have a couple storage options here too. Um, this one you're going to be able to get in from the other side. That doesn't do anything. But these here are going to open up down here on this end. So, nice little farmhouse. So if you wanted to set it up here, again, you're not going to be able to uh, have it at the start. You got a little workshop right there. Awesome. Got a little bit of a, a nook right there. That's kind of what we call those. Now this one, you are going to be able to open up here. Perfect. And then this one, I think it's going to be down here on this. Right here is how you get in here. Yeah. So right here. This is kind of, I guess, more for like uh, root crop storage. But whatever you want to do. So that's Birch Head Farms. Farm. Birch Head Farm. So it's really nice. Um, and let's see. Do we start with this one? No, we do not. You do not start with this farm. So this farm is going to cost you 338000 It comes with fields 94, 98, and 101. And like I said, that's down here by the biogas plant. Lots and lots of grass around this area for your um, sheep, if you so choose to. I mean, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields in this area. You know, and you're going to start, if you choose down here, you're going to have 94, 98, and 101. Well, that's one of them. So, we're going to go now up here to uh, Loudon Lounge. So, uh, let's hop in the truck here and uh, head up that way. So, I'm really liking the the map. I mean, there's a lot of detail, like the, the walls and where the trees are located at. Now, it does seem a little bit dark, but I think that's the way that it is intended to be. I mean, when you get out here, it's like, you know, really nice. I mean, I'm liking the hedges. Now, let me show you this really quick. As of right now, I don't see that little ridge in the hedges. And if for those of you that play some of the other maps with hedges, you'll... What is this? Weak bridge, 18 tons, MGW. So that means no big equipment on this. So... I don't think it'll collapse on you, but that is awesome. Look at that. Oh, I love the flowing water here. This is so cool. So cool. Beautiful bridge. Absolutely beautiful. So like I said, I don't think it's going to cave in on you or anything like that. Um, it could be a good role play. So we're going to keep coming up here. Now this, right here, whoo, good luck getting in there. But this is another sell point for you, right here by these beautiful flowers. Now this is the lounge, all right? And this place is gonna take eggs. So if you've got a big trailer of eggs that you like to do, um, I'm gonna suggest that you're probably not gonna wanna do that because that's not a very big entrance at all. And I don't know, trying to get an auto load or something through here isn't gonna be fun. So, um, yeah, we're gonna hop back in the truck and we're gonna keep making our way up. Now, where we're going now is we're gonna go up to part, or up by the main farm. All right, so I'm gonna do an end cap view because of these trees and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, now, I, really really like to combine a lot of my fields but I don't think on this one 
it's going to be a good option because I don't know if you can get rid of the hedges. Now, if you take this road right here, it brings you out on the back side of the shop and it takes you directly into the pig farm. So we're going to keep going up this road and you can see there's so much grass on this map that it's going to be really, really a good map if you enjoy working grass. Now, this right here, all right, is going to be No Name Farm. I can't find a, a sign, but it's got some cool storage. You got another workshop, you got storage back here, you got water and fuel, got a couple bags hanging out, got some straw bales hanging out. Um, let's see if you can get into these really quick. Not that one. Not that one. So it's just open cover. Open storage is what you're going to have here. But this is horses, y'all. Horses. Yep. So this horse pen is going to hold eight horses. And you can see down over there is your food and your water. Food and water. And I'm not sure where the straw is going to go. I'm sorry. Once again, I'm going to bet it's kind of right in this area because there's a straw there. So... That's your horse pen. Now, you do not own this one. Okay? If you want to buy it, it's going to be 249000 Now, since we're so close to the main farm, this is what you're going to start with. All right? Let me select this here. This is zero, and it's all the periphery stuff around the outside. And, yeah, you guys know how that works. So all the green here is what you're going to start with. You're going to start with fields one, two, three, seven and eight and you're also going to have this field number 38 up here and you can see there's other animal stuff up here so we're going to get there but one two three seven eight and then 38 so a lot of nice stuff and there's a lot of animals right around in here there really really is that you get access to right off the bat so let's go ahead and run up there and uh we'll see what these uh animal pins are all about I think they're really cool. I really do. Now, I uh, I went ahead and figured out how many of each animal you're going to be able to have on the other modes when I was touring those. So right here, like I said, this is one of the fields that you're going to start with. And this is actually a cow pasture. All right. So this right here, okay, is going to hold... Um, yeah, so the way I looked at this, this is field 8. Yep, okay, so this field right here is going to hold 150. And sorry, they are different amounts, so I want to make sure I'm getting it to you the right. Um, so, water, food, not sure if you're going to be able to do straw here. Probably not, because you're not going to have a spot to pick up manure. So, I bet it's just water and food. So, this is like a really good grazing place. Right, if you're just trying to fatten some up on seasons, that would be awesome. Right there. So, um, yep. So, 150 cows in that field there. Now, if we keep coming down here, you're going to notice that we got some road crew down here. And there's no way to get rid of it. They're always going to be there for as long as you're on this. Just, um... Try not to knock over their ladder for them. So, this right here is your main farm. This is where you start at. Okay? So, once again, you are not going to have a farmhouse at all. Now, when you start the game, you start standing right here in front of this building. Um, but as you can see, there is another little building over here. And then you get into your farm. So... The way to get into your farm is um, around over here, I do believe. So this is Newton Farm. No trespassing. Scotch Assured Farm. Awesome. So yeah, if you come back through this little lane right here, now you're going to be able to get into your courtyard. Now, um... If you come over this way, 
there's going to be a gate here and then a gate here. So you can get in this way also if you choose, if you have a little bit bigger equipment, um, but you're still limited on your gate size. So be careful of that. Now also, this area right here, where's it at? Hold on. Ah, where did it go? Is it here? This is actually a cow. There we go. A cow pasture over here. Now this one holds 500 cows. All right. So all of this area out here, I'm sure is going to fill up with cows. Um, you're going to be able to go between fields one and two by a little gate back there. So we saw right here is going to be your food. Um, that's going to be water. I'm assuming straw is going to get blown in the same way. Right in here. Now you are also going to start with a water tank. That is one of your pieces of equipment to help you out. There's your er, water transport. There's a water tank. There's fuel again. Um, you got slurry right there. And I believe let's check this. This right here is a bunker silo so perfect there and I'm not sure where manure goes maybe it's there maybe it goes through that'd be kind of cool be on the lookout for that that might be your manure um, so yeah I mean you can drive around over this way right back here through that gate to your other fields you come around over here, and you got a pass-through garage. So, now that we're in our main area here, all right, let's start looking at our equipment. So, you're going to start off with the New Holland TX32 Harvester, right? You're going to have a nice um, cedar. You're going to have a front tank for it. You're going to have a hermicide or... Um, Vert spreader. Like I said, you're going to have the water transport, liquid transport. You're also going to start down over here with a renderer, a baler, and a mower. Now, this bad boy right here is going to be a, uh, a Valtra. You're going to have the stole front end. You're going to have bale spikes. You're going to have an animal transport. Awesome. By Joskin. Come up over here. Got a workshop. There's your header and your header trailer, which is moving on you a little bit. And you got a nice fire. It's going to keep you nice and cozy. Nice and warm. All right, so what else do we have? There was some more equipment, I thought. Hmm. Where is it hiding at? Oh, there's another garage. Hold on. No. I want out. Hold on. Yeah, there's that. The Valtra. Oh, here we go. This one. Sorry. The New Holland. I was like, what the world? So you're going to have a, uh, a food mixer, and you're going to have your New Holland T6. Looks like a 175. Looks pretty dirty, too. Holy cow. 200 hours on this. Wow. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. Looks like it does, has pretty good speed, though. So that's all your what all your pieces look like. Let's actually go into the menu here and see what our stuff is. So header trailer, you're going to bail spikes, you're going to bail fork you're gonna have a manure fork you're gonna have a roll tie bale fork also so however you want to do that on your bales you've got multiple multiple options you got the uh, the front loader you have the Joskin Betamax animal transport you have the Joskin Aquatrans you have the Kuhn Knight uh, forge mixer you have the New Holland roll belt 150 you have the Kuhn GA 9531 
windrower. You also have the Kuhn GMD 4411 mower. You have the Kuhn Deltas 1302 MTA3. That's going to do fertilizer and herbicide for you. Like I said, this is an additional tank to increase the capacity of your seeds. That's going to work with your Kuhn BTF 4000. Looks like it's going to do your cereal stuff. Some cotton, too. So if you want to do corn, you got to get something else. Header, awesome. You get the truck that we're driving right now. You do have the TX32. You get the, the, the T6175, and you have the Voucher A114. That is it, everybody. So if you sell all of those items, it will take you all the way down to 474 slots. You're going to make about $320,000, or 320000 if you sell everything right here. Obviously, if you take it over to the shop, you're going to make a little bit more. I didn't do that, though. So, last little thing that I want to show you here, let's just jump through here, is you've got this spot right here. This is chickens, y'all. And this chicken pen is going to hold 500 chickens. So, I don't know where they're all going to go. Honestly, don't know if they're going to, like, run around and go crazy. Um, but 500 is what you're going to have. So, not sure where everything's going to spawn at either. Um, I didn't stick around long enough to figure that out. So, that's where it's at. What is that? That's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm from the Midwest in America. A lot of these things that I'm seeing around these maps, I have no idea what they are. If you want to comment, let me know what they are. I would greatly appreciate it, because that thing is really, really intriguing me. I don't know if it's something that they're using as test equipment, or if it's something that you see around Scotland. But it's pretty cool. So, where we're going now, well, you guys have already seen kind of the map, uh, what we're doing. So like I said, you're going to start with all of this, okay? Now we started off down here at the shop. We drove down to this fuel point. We then drove up around over here to the pigs. And we came down and then across, down over to here, the biogas. Drove up this way. And we're sitting right here right now. Now where we're going to go is up here to a couple cell points. Or, or not a cell point, a cell point, sorry. A cell point over here and a couple more pastures. Now we have a pasture along the way. Now, these you do not own, okay? So, you guys may be asking, well, how do you buy land? Like, in what kind of groups? So this one is like 250,000. You know, and then you come down here and you got another group of like 280. So some of them are in blocks, some of them you can buy, and it's weird blocks too. Like, you would think that 94 and 95 would be together, but it's not. So, I mean, you can see that Everything around here is going to be not super pricey, but I don't think anything really, really inexpensive. Um, you're going to need some, some funds to be able to get anything. I don't know. Like, that's the cheapest at 120 that I've seen. Yeah. Oh, 65 right there. 65 75 okay so those three you can buy individually those are the first ones that i've seen for under 100 of anything like under 120 everything else looks like oh this one 91 okay so there are a couple kind of scattered around um but it looks like everything is going to be between 120 to 300 and some um, unless you get up to the big ones, right? Um, looks like you have a wooded area here for 415. So that's going to be, whew, take a little bit to get into that. But, like I said, we're going to keep going around here. And I'm going to show you another pasture um, for cows. Two more for sheep. And then um, we'll finish off on some other, other stuff. So, we're going to get up here. And there's going to be a road right here so I think you could pass it really really easy but we're gonna go up this way sorry not claiming to be the best driver in farm sim that's somebody else I'm just driver 53 
Don't ask me how I got my name. It's a long, long story. All right, so right here, this is going to be another cow pasture. Let me stand in the right spot and you guys can see. So right here. And this one is going to be 150 cows also. So if you own all the cow pastures, you're going to be able to have 800 cows, which I think is pretty cool. That's a lot of cows to have TMR for. It's a lot of a lot of hustle. So, water and food is going to be just over this hill right there in the middle. So, a big, nice pasture. Really nice pasture. So, we're going to come back across here. There we go. Going to start up. Now, I will say, you might want to be careful on some of these hedges. I just saw... Some of them have fences built into them. <laughs> so, pay a little bit of attention to that. I don't know if it's all the way down. See, and it's not all the way down either. So, just um, be cautious. It doesn't look like you're going to have an issue with your header. Now, we're going to have two different options here. Left or right. I'm going to go left first to show you guys the only spot on the map that you have to store grain okay this is the only place unless you want to put it straight on the ground all right this is the only spot that you're going to have so if we come in through here this right here is literally the only place to store your grain so you're going to put it in here you're going to collect it out here underneath this arm I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think these tanks back here have anything in them. Um, and if we come on around, there's really not a good way to get around the rest of it. And then this right here is actually, let me show you on the map. It's really interesting. It says storage yard, yard barn. Okay, so what that is, that's going to be another spot for grain. So be very, very careful when you come up here um, that you are looking at the right spot. Sorry, it's not going to be grain. This is your bales. So this is one of three spots for bales. Okay, um, and silage also. And it doesn't look like it's paying too bad right now for silage. That's pretty awesome. So um, this area right here by the bales is where you're going to drop off your bale silage. This area here is where you're going to store your stuff. Now, let's see if we can get in here. So, we can. So, you are going to have vehicle storage up here, too. So, just letting you know. Um, I don't think you can clean up the area very much. So, that is the only spot that you have to store is that building right there. So, now we're going to come around and go the other direction. Which is another farm. Man, I uh, I got done playing Six Ashes a while ago, a few weeks ago, and I really enjoyed being on a European map. And I've got another, uh, I'm part of a group on Facebook where we really just help each other out. We don't honestly care if we're PC or, you know, Mac or Xbox or you know PS4 PS5 whatever your platform is we all really just get together and have I mean just good conversation and we're called the farming simulator YouTube community and one of the, the members of that group is playing on this map right now doing a contract um, series and having a lot of fun at it and that's some really cool stuff. And it goes by the name of Seaver. C-E-E-B-U-R. And, um... He's really made me want to play this map. And I haven't been able to because it's been PC only until today. So, I think I'm going to have to play this one. At least, if nothing else, as a, uh... A fun map. But, I want to show you this. So, around over here. Okay. Right here is where you're going to get some sheep. Now, you may be asking how many sheep, because it doesn't look like a big pen. 
500, y'all. 500 sheep. So food and water go right there. Your wool is going to spawn there. There's your water. All gravy. Now, you could make this your starting farm, right? And it goes by the name of Alton Burn Farm. Pretty cool. So, if you come up over here, you're going to have another sale point for bales and stuff. So, be cautious of that. But you're also going to have a little bit of storage if you want. And now the other right here is another sell point, if I can get in the right spot. Right here. And this one's 500 also. Now, on this one, I do not know where the wool is going to spawn at. Okay. Um, but food and water. There's water. And there's food. I have not seen where the wool is going to be. Now it may just stack up right there. I doubt it. And I don't think it's going to be in here because that's where you're going to sell at. So um, I looked inside here too and didn't see anything. So I'm hoping you're going to get some. I wouldn't think that they would both put in the same spot. Um, but they might. And that looks like uh, fuel right there. So just uh, be cautious on that one if you decide to use it. And you're also going to be able to come out over here into this little spot. Now, if you buy this one, all right, right here, you're going to get this little spot over here with it. So you're going to get two pastures for your sheep and this little spot over here that you could put you could store stuff, you know, outdoor equipment. Whatever, you probably not going to put a building on there easily with the terrain. But nice little spot here if you want to do, uh, to do something at the uh, Alden Burden Farm. So let's go ahead and keep going to another portion of the map. Because that's everything up here as far as we need to go. So let me show you this. Again, That you, you run out. There's nothing else going on here. So we're going to come back down. Past this pasture, we're gonna take a right. We're gonna go back to, uh, two more spots, two more cell points, and the animal dealer, and then we'll be done with the map tour. So um, let's go get to it, y'all. But that is all of your animal spots, okay? So if you buy all the sheep pastures, you can have 1,500 sheep. If you buy the cows, you can have 800. If you buy the chickens, it's going to be five, or you're going to have chickens already. So it's 500. And pigs is 500. Horses is eight. So you need to purchase the horses, the pigs, and one of the cows. And you're going to need to purchase all three sheep. So we're coming along here, and they call this the old abandoned farm. Now, you can see why. Somebody had a really, really bad day over here. I mean, that's a really bad day. It looks like somebody was doing some WRC stuff and just plowed straight into a tree. Maybe a wall. Holy cow. Um, but it is a cell point. So you're going to come through here and then back here. Now, this is going to be straw, I'm pretty sure, or straw and things. Um, abandoned farm, yeah. So, silage and your bales. That's all that's going to be here. Okay? So, you might be able to access it from over here. Yeah, so I guess you can. So, if you wanted to come this way, too, and loop around really quick, you're good. Um, it shows that you've got another water supply right here, too. Which is nice. It's not necessarily showing up on the map. So check that out, maybe. I didn't bring my water tank with me. But it's got that for sure. So we'll uh, go back over to our vehicle. And uh, keep going down the road here to the spinnery and the animal dealer. So if you're doing sheep, most of the sheep are either up on the top right-hand corner or the bottom right-hand corner. Um, and your spinner is all the way over here on this left hand side. So just keep in mind that you are going to have a little bit of a, a drive through some narrow er roads. Um, 
I don't think that should discourage you, though. So, this looks to be the spinnery and the animal dealer. So, it looks as though the animal dealer is here on your left-hand side. Perfect. And I bet... Where's the trigger? Hold on, trying to find the trigger. Holy, where is the trigger? I can't find the trigger, y'all. That's so weird. It says it's like... Right here. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right there. Wow! Okay, so right here is the animal trigger. So, um, I don't think you're going to be able to drive over it. I think you're probably going to have to walk out over onto it. Okay, and then this is your spinnery up here. So, right there in front of those doors. Pretty awesome. Look at that nice modular truck right there. That looks pretty cool. What's it got going on in there? Safety vest? Always needed. Always. So, I wonder, can we get into these buildings? Nope. So, decor only. Alright, well that is it. That's everything on the map. So, yeah, that is absolutely everything on the map. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour here. Um, you know, it does look like some of these areas here aren't going to have, I mean, they may have some hedges, but it looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty cool to have, if you could get all that grass. Wow, that's a lot. I'm going to drive through the wooded area here and just see what's going on. Um, see how it looks. And, uh, yeah. Quite a bit of woods, though. If you want to cut some stuff down, maybe. Let's see how far, actually, how far uh, can we get over on the uh, outside. I wonder if I can jump over this fence easy. No, it's not going to let me, is it? All right, let's um, hop back in this. We'll drive over and see how far out there I can get some trees just because if I can cut down some of those trees that's a good way to make money now more than likely they are going to be outside the boundary of what I'm going to be able to do but let's go find out once again just driving straight through those hedges so let's uh let's go find out ah oh, so you can get out of here a little bit that's Interesting. So you might be able to cut down some free trees. If you like cutting down trees, that might be an option for you to cut down some of those free ones. So, I think that's going to be everything today, everybody. I, uh, I'm i really liking this map. I really am. It's pretty cool. Um, it's. I think the more you explore it, the more you're going to discover about it. So, I definitely would put this one on your list of ones to, to give a try. If you like um, maps from Scotland, um, this is a absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of like a state park driving up through here. I don't think I would cut these trees down. I think I would leave these. Oh man, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Things like this make me wish I was on PC so I could just like put little things all around in here, you know, with the, the Place Anywhere mod. And, uh,. I'd like set this into like a campsite. It's just beautiful. Perfectly, perfectly beautiful. Um, and in modding, you did a great job on this map. So, I uh, I just want to say, appreciate it everybody for checking out the uh, the map tour. I've got a bunch of other ones on my uh, channel. You guys have been treating me very, very well on my views. So thank you again, everyone. Um, 
If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. Let me know that it's a, a good video. Um, if you got any comments about what I could do different, what I could do better, what you didn't like, you know, let me know. That way I can improve and continue to provide you with quality content that you're going to be interested in. You're going to keep coming back for it. That's what it's about. It's me providing you quality videos. Um, if you want to share this, go right on ahead. I'm never going to tell you that you cannot. And if you want to um, subscribe, if you like all my stuff, go ahead. But if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell. Sometimes I'll put out two, three, even four videos a day. Um, some of the maps, when they get released, it is just nuts. And I've got to just go, go, go. And I put out four videos in like 36 hours last week or the week before. So absolutely um, slammed those couple days. But we got it done. You guys treated me very well. I appreciate it. Um, I think I'm going to do a little off-road in here. So I just want to say... Have a great day, everybody. And until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.